Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be getting our traditional Slovak food in Pension Katka. I will be going for Pirochi and a traditional Slovak drink. Let's go. So what do they have here on the menu? Halushki, Pirochi, that's what I'm going for today, Pirochi. Let's go. Looks like a nice place here. Look at the wooden wooden exterior. Really nice restaurant here. Look at look at the outside. Beautiful. Nice seating area here for kids as well. I'm going for Pirohi. Do you know what, you guys? I really appreciate your recommendations for Slovak food. I have received over 1,000 comments, messages for Slovak, traditional Slovak food. So today, I'm going for Pirohi and Cinchitsa. Have a look at the menu. So I am in Chichmani. They have a beautiful restaurant, wooden restaurant here in a nice village. And have a look, Pension Katka. They have a like wooden menu book. And here is the menu here. What video? Lisa Pod Makito? No, no, I'm from Shintawa. You should try Piro Pirochi. Pirochi, a Jinchitsa. Jinchitsa and Pirochi. Ciao. Sour milk? Slovenske, yes. traditionally. People drink it with uh, pirohi. Great. Yeah. It's please. Okay? Yes, please. Thank you. That's a it? pirohi. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So I got myself pirohi and a traditional drink that the lady said people have here with the pirohi. Looking forward to it. Really nice atmosphere here, I must say. Nice wooden Rzebjanica. Really nice here. So this is where I am, you lot. I am at the Pension Katka. Beautiful Zrebjanica. Lovely place in Chichmani. Surrounded by beautiful wooden houses. It's got to be the most beautiful wooden restaurant that I have ever visited. Do you know why? The area surrounded by so much beautiful nature. The Zrebjanica, the wooden houses. And if you if you recommend me to a wooden restaurant it's got to be my favorite place to visit wooden restaurants i really love wooden restaurants so if you recommend me to any wo wooden restaurants i really appreciate it cheers oh wow and they even have a bus stop here as well zastavka they have a bus stop here Let's have a look inside. Wow. They have drinks here. Oh, it looks really nice in here. Check it out. Wooden skis. Curtains, nice curtains. It looks really comfortable in here, I must say. Wow. Guys, my drink has arrived now. I've got to find out what it is because the lady said they don't have no jinchitsa. Dobry den, pani. Jak se to imenje? Prosím. Jak se to imenje? Asitko. Asitko. To je tradiční slovenské. Ano. Jo? Dobre. <laughs> Dobre. Mm, nice. Traditional Slovak drink. Chichmani traditional Slovak food and traditional Slovak drink. So I'm going to give you my first initial reaction because I have never tried this before. And I must say it looks thick in texture. It looks a bit milky. It smells like milky. All right, so I'm going to give it a try now. Here goes. It 
it tastes milky. It has the aftertaste of milk. It's really cold. It tastes fresh. It tastes like a creamy yogurt. I like it. It tastes really nice. It tastes milky. It tastes really creamy. It tastes, it has a taste in between sweet and sour. It's like a yogurt flavor drink. It's really nice. Really nice, I like it. Really, really nice. Who has had this before? And what do you think of this? It's taste in between a yogurt and a milk. <laughs> I told you guys, wherever I go, I like to hear Dobrokuch. That means enjoy your meal. Woo, pyrohi. Slovenskich pyrohi. By looking at this meal, it's pyrohi in Slovakia, but in Polish, it's pyrogi, which I had something similar to this in Poland, but it had meat inside. So I'm going to discover what they have inside this one in Slovakia. Right, let's go. Because you know, in the Eastern European countries, they have similar food cuisines. So it has different names, but the food is similar. Wow. So mm, this one has like a sauce with spring onions and onions on it. Here we go. Nice. It's a pasta with a cheese inside, which is brinza, and it's a really soft texture. Mmm. It's nice, yeah. Have a look. So you can see, like, they put some omachka on the top. Really nice. Mmm, delicious. The one in Poland I had had meat inside, but this one has no meat. But this one has cheese, it's still delicious. Mmm, So I'm going to tell you what the sauce tastes like because it has like some herbs there as well and I think it looks really tasty, the herbs with this pierogi. Mm. The sauce tastes like dill. For those of you that don't know because my international subscribers from England, maybe you're used to just burger sauce, tomato ketchup. But this sauce is like, is used more in a Eastern European cuisine and it tastes like dill. In England, we don't have this kind of sauce. Pyroki. I have been recommending this meal by so many people. So many people have advised me to try this traditional Slovak meal. Wow. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Nice. It's quite surprising that I like Eastern European foods because my background is Caribbean, so I'm used to spicy food with loads of herbs and spices and seasoning, but the food here is quite basic, but I really like it. It's quite nice. Listen. Thank you. Thank you. 
Chcem sa spýtať uh, YouTube or YouTube. Instagram? Ano, YouTube. Mám YouTube. Andrej Tvrvena. Mm -hmm. Jo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So here we are now. Here we are. Purity. Slovak traditional food. Also, traditional Slovak drink. It's nice, I told you lot. To my international audience, it tastes like Actimo. It tastes like a healthy drink. It's got like a sheep's flavor, like a, a cheesy flavor to the milk. Let me know to you Slovak subscribers, what do you think of this drink? If you like it or what are your thoughts? But I really enjoyed it. And the piroki is was really nice. I enjoyed it, it was really good. All right, so last bite. Mmm, delicious, traditional Slovak food. Right, the meal is now finished. So here's the toilets. Smells nice and fresh in here. All right, you lot. Great place here. Great food. Great atmosphere. Really enjoyed myself. Ciao.